what I'm going to do is do a little body check for you and show you sort of what I'm looking like at the moment after this week of being a vegan. My friends that play rugby, they are worried about losing weight and I understand for a sport where you need weight to get over the game line, to win collisions, all that sort of stuff. Um, and they said to me, you know, they don't feel like they're eating enough protein, which obviously I also understand. And they came to me to ask what I suggested doing. So I have been allergic to dairy my whole life. I've never had dairy. That's another vlog. That's going to be an interesting vlog actually, but not, not this one. Anyway. I've always had vegan um, protein alternatives and supplements, so I use vegan protein shakes. I've always used vegan protein shakes. I have to use vegan protein bars. I can't have anything with dairy in, so I suggested to them, rather than doing it all through food, maybe looking some supplements if they need that extra little bit of protein. But the other thing I spoke to them about was I asked them how, how are their energy levels, how are they actually feeling in the gym? Are they feeling stronger? Are they feeling weaker? Because personally, I've not really felt much difference strength-wise this week. Um, don't feel weaker. Energy levels feel great. So, so strange for me to say all this sort of stuff because I didn't really think it would work as such. And I don't know if it's worked, but I feel good this week. Even if it's a placebo, I'm taking it. Um, so yeah, I feel probably just as strong as I've always done. Just as fit, just as energetic. My stomach's had problems um, with all the fibre. I'd never tell anyone else to go vegan, but if you want to try it, try it. I tried it for a week, Just it's just one week, and I have no regrets whatsoever. I think personally, I found it easier dieting and being a vegan than it is to diet for something like a bodybuilding competition or a photo shoot where you're on a massive calorie deficit. With being vegan, you can still eat and still feel full and still have taste, whereas when you're doing bodybuilding shows and stuff like that, that's when it's tricky. So. For me, it's not necessarily what I eat, it's just eating something. So I think that there's a big sort of, people think it's just gonna be salad leaves and stuff like that, and it's really, really not. I mean, it is if you want it to be, but who would want to just eat salad leaves? Let's be honest. So just remember that as well, if you want to do it, be creative with your food. But anyway, yeah, I am not gonna be going full vegan tomorrow at the start of the week. What I am going to be doing is choosing smarter alternatives to meat a lot more of the time and seeing how it affects me. So, you know, meat might be limited to one or two days a week if I can. I think I'm going to get some eggs back because I love scrambled eggs. I love scrambled eggs and I've missed them a lot. But apart from that, I've really, really enjoyed this week. It's been a good challenge. Um, I was so, so against it for a while because I told myself that I liked meat and that was the main thing. If I liked to eat something, I'd eat it. But doing this little challenge has opened my eyes, I'm not going to lie, and just in general makes me realise how much more time I need to think and spend towards what I'm actually putting into my body and what it's doing for me. What I'm going to do is do a little body check for you and show you sort of what I'm looking like at the moment after this week of being a vegan. And yeah, we might start to do some body updates as we go along as well because why not? Keeps me more accountable and you can sort of see what sort of training I'm doing, what my diet's like and how it's impacting my performance and my physique. But yeah, this is my current physique at the moment. Um, I, I wish I could have shown you guys what I looked like before, but if anything, I probably look pretty similar to be honest, but I've lost about a kilogram, maybe a little bit more this week just from trying the vegan diet and not lost my strength, which is nice. Um, what I am losing though is a little bit of size on my left leg since my knee injury. Um, this left leg's a bit smaller, but I've still got, without falling over, still got size on my right leg, but hopefully once my knee's a bit better, I can start to use this leg squatting, getting some size back on it and stuff like that as well. And yeah, I thought I'd do this, and from now on, I can give little body check-ins, I can talk about what training I'm doing, because at the moment, I'm doing CrossFit, um, one or two sessions a day for five to six days a week. It's been really, really good, and today, I went swimming, that's why my hair's a little bit messy. But yeah, I'm doing a lot of training at the moment, feeling good about it, feeling energetic, and that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, look at my back. I can show you this too. So, I had some cupping, or quite a lot of cups on my back. It's a sports massage sort of treatment idea. Um, 
and found it pretty cool. I don't know how beneficial it's been for me personally, but at least I've got some pretty cool marks on my back as well. Look at that. Now I'm telling you, you would not be able to tell that's real mints or corn mints, honestly. And honestly guys, this tastes so, so good. The biggest thing for me really was, I like meat, but now I know that there's sort of meat replacements and supplements that taste pretty much the exact same as meat, and I'm not even joking. I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. That's it for this vlog guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a like, I know it's a little short one, but there will be more coming. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>